Hey y'all. Um, this is our Friday uh, video of the rabbit colony, and uh, I just wanted to let y'all know that we will be uh, live in this colony Saturday at 6 p.m. Central Time. something of uh some grass they ain't really gung-ho about the cabbage but them rabbits like it there we go see them how they waiting up there <laughs> they saying where's mine <laughs> there you go guys Today. They still coming. And look at the chickens. Come on, girls. <laughs> Come on, girls. <laughs> Come on. hiding up under there. That's what we got today. Boy, they can, they just munching. I don't know if you can hear it, but they tearing it up. And it is hot and humid out here. Look how they all eating together. The rabbit, the quail, the chucker, the chickens. <laughs> These little quails here, look how they, watch how they get their stuff. That's Bob Whites. These little quails. Let me sit down on this bucket. Ugh. So that's why I pick some of the clover uh, and the little grass to where uh, the quails can have some. They will eat the cabbage if you don't look over there. Look at the look at there. Right there is a prime example how they get along. There's a rabbit, a chucker, and a pheasant. I mean a quail and a chicken all eating off one little stalk over there. <laughs> how pretty that pheasant is, y'all. That's the female pheasant right there that's beside him. And that's a chucker right there behind him. Look how he runs. <laughs> can sit in here all day and just watch these rabbits and uh, quails and chuckers. And I was wondering if uh, 
by me picking them this grass and bringing them stuff from the garden if it really helped with food uh, and it does because like when I come out and put a bunch like this and the next morning when I come there's usually feed left over that they haven't ate uh, in their feed but if I skip a day and don't do this all the feed is gone so that tells me that this does work by you know uh, picking grass and some leftovers but that weedy looking stuff that they're chewing on over there that is uh, asparagus where I cleaned out that bed I was uh, trying to thin it down and get some of the grass out because it's uh, so full so I brought the pieces to them So y'all have y'all's questions ready? What y'all want to know? What y'all would like to see? We do have plans for this colony. We've been talking about it. Uh, we might try to start that project this weekend. Uh, I'm not quite sure because he has some days off. But uh, we do have big plans. But we're not going to tell you. <laughs> we're going to keep it a little secret for now. <laughs> But if you have any questions, let us know. Think of what you would like us to answer about these rabbits. And so we're going to see you Saturday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. So thank y'all for tuning in to the rabbit colony. And uh, God bless y'all. And I hope we've inspired y'all so y'all can build some colonies. Listen to Chuck are trying to talk over me. I feel like Cobb Hill. He says he always has a peacock that's gonna talk over him. I got a chucker that's trying to talk over me. <laughs> so y'all stay tuned and make sure y'all visit the live tomorrow at 6 p.m. Thanks guys. Bye.